each dimensions, each dimension background must be transparent, logical. Okay, so taking consideration uh, these requirements, especially the file size and the file type. And I will just click on this button, upload graphic. I will look for cat. I know that I have downloaded the PNG icon with a cat. So this is it. I don't know if anyone would buy this, but this is for just for the example. Okay, so this is our design and this is how it looks on the actual mug. Okay, now we can play around with the design. I mean, we can move it, okay, wherever we want. But we want it in center. Okay, we can rotate it if we want to. As you can see, you just have to go with your cursor over the image and you have all of these options, right? You can resize it. You just have to click here on the small icon and hold the click pressed. Okay, and drag and drop to change the size. So I think this is a good size for this. Okay, we can center it. Okay, and that's about it. So this is how it will look. Okay, this is how our mug will look with the icon on it. Then you can see that the next option that you have is the base cost. So here is basically the price at which you sell. And here you can see the profit that you make for every sale. Okay. Now what you want to do probably is you want to check out the marketplaces out there, okay, where people buy coffee mugs like the one you want to sell and see which is the average price and go pro probably for that price or even a little bit below or if you, if you sell something that is similar to other products, you have to go for the same price or a little bit lower. If you sell something that has uh, something unique and that's how it's recommended, you can go for a little bit higher but not too much. Okay, I don't know, for example, if a coffee mug sells for $19.95, I think it's a little bit much. I would sell it, for example, for $9.95 or $11.95. And I think that $7 for a coffee mug, it's more than enough in profit. I mean, if you sell like five this every day, it's more than enough in profit for a single model that you have of coffee mug, right? Then you can also give your design layer a name. So you can save it for the future. You can also add a text layer to the to the design if you want to or another photo layer. But I don't want to. I, I just want to leave it like this. OK, you can also duplicate the image on the black on the back. Sorry. That means that on the other side of the coffee mug, uh, you will have the image, the same image put again. OK, and if, when you are done, with, when you are done with everything, you just have to press next step. OK, so we'll press next step. And bear with me for a couple of seconds till the whole campaign loads, till, till the app loads actually. So this is how the, the coffee mug will look like. Pretty nice, right? Uh, you have to give your campaign a title. Be sure that you give a, a good title to your campaign, an attractive title, because this is what your customers are going to see, your potential customers. Okay, like super cool, cool, limited edition cat coffee mug okay something like that and that's it then you have the description okay uh, the description field it's already populated by them but you can add your own things in here your own details like the coffee mug dimensions okay the details about the design and stuff like that if you want to okay uh, like how many how many pieces are available you can add scarcity in your description and other things like that so it's your option obviously and after you are done with the description you have to choose a category for your product which is by the way optional but it's recommended at least i recommend you to do so and we will choose animals then you have to add tags like coffee mug okay cat lover Okay, cats, mug, okay, store, <clears throat> funny, and that's about it, okay? So this is just an example. You can add different tags. Uh, I recommend you to add keywords and stuff that are relevant for your product because it will be easier for people to find it that way and it will also help you maybe in time to get traffic from other places like Google, the Google search engine and other things like that. Then you have the campaign length. Okay. And basically the campaign length, length, how much you want the campaign to, to last. Okay. Like six days. Okay. Five days. 
and when do you want it to end okay to select the hour then you have to choose a url to create a new url for your product funny cat okay so this is our url start selling uh, set selling price so this is our selling price button text so you can choose the the text on your button buy now campaign options evergreen so basically even if you have chosen the campaign to be only five days basically the campaign will be evergreen okay so you will be able to sell and sell and sell again and again set back as default side to show uh, for the product now we want it in on the front terms of service okay everything it's it's ready right now okay you have to check the terms of service obviously as well so check all the details once again so we can be sure that you didn't miss anything and after all this part is done you just have to press this button launch campaign okay and basically you will see that you are ready to launch your campaign okay so this is it guys very very simple our new campaign is now live let's check it out so you will see that we have this link here okay so this is our campaign okay 1195 super cool limited edition cat coffee mug okay buy it now so this is how your page of your product will look like okay you can just i think i've I didn't put the C in here in the funny, it's funny at, it should have been funny cat, but anyway, <laughs> we got the idea, this is just an example, so no worries. Uh, what you want to do is copy this link here and promote it in any places you want, okay, in order to get sales or you should have a marketing strategy before you launch a product, that's the whole idea. Or I will show you a couple of places in other videos where you can sell your products. Actually, this is the the business model that I was talking to you about. Okay, so you can give different spins to this to to this business model. Either you already have a community centered and passionate about your niche, or you can use different uh, different techniques to get sales for your products. Okay. Now let me go back because I haven't showed you an, a couple of other things here. You can view your campaign to see exactly statistics. You can optimize this campaign, select related campaigns, select an upsell. You can upsell people, maybe sell also a t-shirt. You can set up a pixel. Okay, maybe you want to install a Facebook conversion pixel on your page so you can retarget people after that. So you can do all of this, this type of things, but I won't go into any details because it can be complicated. If you already know how to do Facebook ads, you know what Facebook pixel is. Uh, an upsell, I think everybody knows what an upsell is. Basically, you can create another another product, okay, with a different design or the same design like a t-shirt or a bigger mug. Maybe people will want to buy two mugs or the metallic mug or something like that. And that's about it. So you can go through these options as well if you want, okay. So this is it guys for this video. I hope this uh, was helpful for you. I'm looking forward to see that you have created your Gearbubble account and you have set up your first campaign. And I'm also looking forward to see you in the other videos and in the next lectures as well. Bye bye till next time. Sorry in here.